You ever find yourself craving that Halloween vibe? You just want to throw something spooky on in the background, carve a pumpkin. You love all of it, ghosts and ghouls, that fall atmosphere. If you're into all of that type of stuff, that type of mood, this movie might be right up your alley. Jane? So Monster Summer stars Mel Gibson, Mason Thames, Lauren Bracco, and others. And it follows Noah, the main kid. He has this group of friends. They're all just living out their summer. And a bunch of very strange, supernatural, paranormal occurrences keep happening. Kids are going missing. Kids are running into this entity. And they're having this very weird experience, almost as if they've lost their soul. And what happens is Noah wants to be a reporter when he grows up. So he kind of gets it amongst himself that he's going to investigate this, make this his summer story. And it's one of those old throwback homage films that feels like we don't get too much anymore. That PG-13 horror mystery made for everybody, adults and kids alike. I think basically everybody can have a good time with this film because it gives you that vibe of Halloween without being too serious. It feels like it would blend right into a movie marathon where you watched Halloween Town, then this one. Perfect gateway film for the kids and family alike. So if you like those old school PG-13 teen thrillers where you're investigating monsters, you got kids, y'all love Halloween, this might be one to check out. Now starting off with what I really liked about this film, I thought the acting and the way these roles were written were a lot of fun to hang out with. I thought Noah, the main kid, he's acted really well by Mason Thames. He was also the main kid in the black phone and he's kind of playing the exact same role in this film of this kid who plays baseball and he's just a young kid whose friends are having things happen to them same thing in this one so if you liked him in the black phone you'll probably really like him in this one i thought he was fantastic in this film for what he's asked to do he's basically carrying this film for the most part putting kids as your lead very risky move the kids can't act they don't have range it instantly takes you out of the film the fact that they cast this kid as the lead in this he's fantastic probably the best actor in this I have to point it out i think this kid has a great career ahead of him also you have mel gibson returning to this one and i could not honestly tell you the last thing i've seen that have mel gibson in it but he's back in this he's actually pretty good he's playing this guy named gene crothers he's basically the stereotypical red herring guy that all the kids think is an evil villain who's been killing kids He's just cast to be that way. And it's one of those tales where nobody's really taken the time to get to know him. So they have all these all tales amongst the island natives and everybody thinking this guy's so much weirder than he is. He's just a retired cop. Nobody's taken the time to get to know. And I know some people have a problem separating the actor from the art. I don't really even know what this guy did. Like I said, I thought he got canceled, but he's back in this. I think he's really good in this role. I think he has really good comedic timing. I really bought this guy for the role he's trying to sell you on a retired cop. His sarcastic comedic tone right up my alley as always. I like that form of humor. I thought the jokes he presents actually landed a good bit. So I think he really stood out in this. I thought he was basically perfectly cast. There's a couple of other people you'll know by name or face in this one, such as Kevin James, the kid from Sandlot, grown up. But the last major actress they tease on the poster Lorraine Bracco and all I have to say is if you don't know that name if you've never seen The Sopranos what the fuck are you talking about pause the video go watch it and come back because if you've seen The Sopranos you know damn well who Lorraine Bracco is she's playing this character that lives above Noah for the summer she's renting a place from his mom and she's the major person that Noah suspects is up to all of the bad deeds going on in town. So he gets his friends to investigate with him. He gets Gene Crothers on board. They all start this big mysterious investigation into what's going on. They're starting to watch her. They're starting to document incidents. They have this murder board with pins they make with all of the fun investigative tactics you see in these PG-13 films. And that's how they spend the summer, trying to figure out what's going down. I think the cast is a lot of fun. I think the story is a lot of fun. This is just a great throwback to the time where we didn't have to have incredibly serious horror films and you just get a fun little PG-13 mystery the whole family can enjoy. That really is by far my biggest positive I can say about this film. I think my entire theater had a good time watching this as an early screening. People were laughing, people were clapping. It just feels like the type of film you throw on in the background, you make some popcorn, you carve pumpkins, eat some pumpkin seeds, you let it play because you follow this mystery, you're having a good time, there's some laughs, you get some interesting creature design at points. I think it's just scary enough, it keeps you on board with the fact that it is a horror mystery, but it's never too over the top that you feel like you're watching a full-blown horror film if that makes sense i was also a little bit surprised by how much i enjoyed the actual mystery of this thing you know when you're trying to figure out who's behind it you're compiling evidence you're getting to meet these characters and involve with them i thought the actual mystery of how it plays out and what you're trying to solve and what the answer you get is was actually pretty engaging and interesting i didn't actually figure it out for a pg-13 film to throw me for a loop like that where i was on board all the way to the end definitely can do worse in that regard because i've seen some real stinkers when it comes to how obvious it is they throw it in your face this is not one of them you'll be 
be along for the ride, trying to figure it out. And I think they disguise it just enough to keep that intrigue going all the way to the end. I was on board personally. The overall vibes of this movie are just so fun. The picture is very blue and it's very gloomy and dark and it feels like Halloween night. But at the same time, you spend a lot of time in this island. So there's a lot of scenes of the beach and a lot of water and just a lot of pretty cinematography. And the sound, as I mentioned earlier, really spooky, very Halloween feel. You got those orchestra sounds. It just all worked for me. I thought the entire atmosphere they're trying to capture, that mood, I think they really struck it in this film. Then when you get to the actual end of the film and you get some of the payoff, some of the monster design, some of the more creepy visuals that could upset kids, I thought it was creepy enough and it is effective, but nothing that will torment the kid, nothing that will give them nightmares for weeks. It's effective enough and I thought that was good and that's the balance you want to strike with a PG-13 horror film. They almost go there a couple of times and what they have some of the kids do but they hone it in a little bit so it never goes full extreme to the point it just changes genres goes full rated r stays pg-13 so you know exactly what you get going into this so overall guys i had a good enough time with this film i thought it was a really fun film for that halloween time of year gave me that spooky vibe i crave sometimes if you're looking for something to watch with the family thrown during halloween when you're carving pumpkins you want a little pg-13 horror mystery nothing too extreme but it could scare some younger kids watch monster summer i recommend it i definitely think you could do worse i know it comes out next week but if any of you guys have seen or heard of monster summer comment down below let me know as always if you haven't subscribed join me down below i'd love to have you about to start rattling off some halloween marathon films so join me for those i'll see you in the next one peace